Monday 14th of September and I've been turning off the Google Maps and trying to go different directions as I go anywhere around Christchurch and uh, I didn't find work this morning but I did find the beach. It's much easier to find the beach. So we're back down at New Brighton for a few minutes before I have to uh, head on in to get dirty again. We had a pretty good weekend, it was pretty relaxed, we played cards and I got the HQ painted. Uh, Kara's had her theatre sports final, she, they, they got second, it was really, really good, really moments of brilliance in there, so I was really glad that we were able to uh, watch that and, and attend it and support her in her theatre sports, uh, which is uh, improv, it's kind of comedy, it was quite funny, they did really well, all the, all the schools that participated. And uh, I'm almost regretting buying tickets for November. It's so hard to know what to do. And I think uh, the, the worst bit about losing a job is having to tell people about it. It's something that you want to keep to yourself because it's, you know, it could be construed as a, a fail, but it's not necessarily. And uh, it, it feels like it at the time. And, you do go through a, a few emotions which is why I kind of wanted to share it and I think uh, normally in you know days gone by in my life I would share it with my my granny and my granny isn't here to share it with so this is my next best thing to share my life I guess with somebody something and uh, so it's interesting to see, uh, I felt like I, I really knee jerked uh, buying those tickets to Melbourne uh, because I was upset and I just wanted to go home and I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Ruby's settling into school and uh, you know another job has turned up for me and there's others out there you know there, there's uh, a parts interpreter down in Rolleston but it's full time and I don't want to you know do anything full time if I'm going to go home in November it's a bit unfair on the employer so I'm kind of a little bit more stuck now and even if we go home in November via Melbourne if it all works out and we have to quarantine I still have to get from Melbourne through South Australia and into WA and then self-isolate and I don't know if I've got the energy to follow all that up it, it, it was it was okay when I was just reacting in in you know my terrible emotional place. It gave me the energy to look and you know spur me on, so I didn't have to think about how I felt. Now I'm not feeling much better because it, the uncertainty is really gripping me. I, I just don't know what the right thing to do is, and I will give it a few weeks. Uh, Ruby hasn't given me a definitive answer. I think, yes, we want to be home for Christmas, but to what end? You know, maybe we're missing out on something here, and is there much more for us over there where it's, uh, you know, everything's blocked off and, you know, it's not any freer than we are here. We're quite free here. And the uh, where I'm working, it, it, you know, even if it stays casual part time, I really like the environment with the old cars and what they're doing with the airbagging suspension and stuff. There's, there's things I can learn, even if I don't earn the money I want and have to travel so far and through the traffic into work. I, I, I'm getting to explore Christchurch and I'll be learning more about, you know, classic cars, which is my life. So. We will see what happens and uh, you will see it develop as we go along. But that's how I'm feeling today and I'm feeling much better for having seen the ocean this morning and I will be much happier going to work. Uh, Tuesday 15th of September, I'm on my way to work. I've been told to just keep coming along till I go back to Australia. Uh, hmm, so here I go. Uh, last night was really interesting. I did a, uh, a webinar on women and in four-wheel driving uh, with another couple of ladies on the reasons why you know, women aren't as well represented in uh, four-wheel driving in Australia. Uh, 
and I can't believe how much I fiddle around when I talk. That was really interesting to see, but it was it was really good. It was my first Zoom webinar, uh, and it's all experience. And I did want to get out there and talk about you know equality and women everywhere being appreciated, valued, and uh, able to do anything without hindrance. So that was a start. I've got a long way to go, but uh, let's hope I keep picking up these little, these little interesting things that I can speak out and hone my, my voice to speak up.